Hi guys, I'm Chelsea and welcome or welcome back to my channel. That was very YouTube-y, so I'm trying that out. Um, so this is the look that I'm finna do. If you guys want to know how I achieved it, please continue watching. So I'm going to take my Morphe 35B palette and I'm taking this um, packing pointy brush and I'm just putting the purple onto my crease and just out outlining where my crease is and I'm not going to drag down the colors. I'm just going to keep packing on the purple more because the color isn't as pigmented as I would like it to be. Okay, so then I'm going to take the hot pink and I'm just going to put it above the purple and wing it out because I'm going for a winged look. So I'm going to wing it out and I'm going to keep packing on the pink because it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be. I'm going to say pigmented a lot, but um, this palette isn't as pigmented. So that's why you have to keep packing on the shadows. Okay, so you're gonna see me go back in with the colors again just to make sure that they don't get lost while I'm packing on other colors and to make sure that they're as pigmented as they could be. Also, um, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I started with the white base just to make sure the colors pop up even more than they should be. I'm then gonna go in with the yellow and just put it all the way on top of my brow because I have no lid space, so we gotta, I don't know what I was trying to say, but yeah, I'm just gonna blend it all the way on top of my eyebrow and just keep packing it on because it isn't as bright as it should be, so I just keep packing it on and I do a winged motion because I'm going for a winged look. Okay, so I'm not very good at explaining how to do things, so that's why I do voiceovers. So y'all make sure you have to like watch what I do because I'm not good at like explaining what I'm doing. So yeah, just a disclaimer. So I'm then going to take the dark blue in the palette and just put it under where I put the purple and yeah, just keep packing it on. But this blue is um, quite pigmented, so I don't need to keep packing it on. And I'm just going to leave just a little bit of lid space for the next color because we're almost done. gonna take the dark green and I'm just gonna put it on the rest of the lid space that I have just a little bit and yeah I'm just gonna keep packing it on until I get the best color outcome So this is the final look I did and I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys did too. If you did, please like, comment, whatever you want. I don't know, like maybe a next look or something. I don't know. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. 
and also thank you guys for like 50 subscribers it might be small to you guys but like i managed to achieve it and like before the year ended so that's great um anyway my stomach is growling right now so i'm gonna go eat um so i'll see you guys next time hopefully bye